Qatar will play host to football's showbiz event with the side defending the trophy to be decided on Sunday in this year's final. The awarding of the tournament to Qatar was shrouded in controversy as the country saw off competition from more well-established football nations to land the World Cup. And it looks increasingly likely that the tournament will not be played in the summer months due to the searing heat in the Middle East. So what do we know about the Qatar World Cup so far? Look no further. Where is the World Cup 2022? Well, for those of you who have been living in the desert for the best part of the past decade, it will be taking place in the desert. Not literally, of course, but it's a significant change of scenery for FIFA's flagship event as the tournament heads to the Middle East for the first time ever. Qatar will host the 2022 tournament. Having successfully bid in 2010, it will also be the first time the competition has been held in an Arab and Muslim majority country. Given that Qatar is surrounded by desert, average temperatures during the summer months soar to around 35 45 degrees Celsius. FIFA, therefore, took the decision to move the tournament to the more cooler winter months, with an expected start date of late November. Interestingly, this means the tournament will fall in the middle of the normal domestic schedule for the majority of European club sides. To counteract this, the 2022 World Cup is set to be held over a reduced time frame of 28 days. The final regular is due to be played on December 18, which is also Qatar National Day. Controversies corruption The decision to grant Qatar the 2022 World Cup has been widely criticized and dogged by allegations of corruption. Qatar bid CEO Hassan Al Thawadi described praised FIFA for taking a bold gamble when they voted in favor of the Arab state hosting the tournament ahead of the US. There have since been a number of unproven allegations levied at FIFA over the surprising result of the vote, with some claiming Qatar bought their way to victory. An investigation was inconclusive, but the head of FIFA's Audit and Compliance Committee, Domenico Scala, stated that any evidence of bribery found could result in the reversal of the decision to award Qatar the World Cup. Treatment of workers The Qatar World Cup Organizing Committee has been accused of neglecting basic workers' rights in their preparations to host the tournament. It was alleged that poor treatment of migrant workers saw a growing number of deaths of those working on construction sites including on stadiums, being built specifically for the World Cup. The deaths were related to having to work in sweltering temperatures with a substandard break time, which Amnesty International referred to as forced labor. In addition, many workers complained of receiving little to no pay for their work and having their paperwork taken away from them, so they were unable to leave the country. Terrorism fears up until late 2017 there were still calls for FIFA to drop the tournament in Qatar amid fears over the safety of hosting the tournament there. England were on standby to step in as the Arab nation was accused by neighboring countries of supporting terrorism. Bahrain, Egypt, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates all withdrew ambassadors and imposed trade and travel bans with Qatar. Experts deemed Qatar's World Cup program as a high-risk project, but Hassan al-Thawadi has since refuted the claims and says that the Arab state are against terrorism of any kind.